Rion market. <laughs> oh, there's still one more. One enemy no, we got down. Attacker spawn. On CT. Hold long, hold long. Ah, oh, two on site, one hooker. Well, the line What's good, everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know with Valorant's new agent KO. Everything from abilities, what KO can counter, and also some lineups as well. But one question I have with KO is why is he holding that trash gun? Also, I'll be live streaming KO today at 6pm BST and I hope to see you there as I'll try to answer any questions you may have which aren't in this video. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the first KO ability is called Fragment and it is essentially just another molly. However, you've got to keep in mind when you make lineups, you have to be more precise since the molly does less damage on the outer ring in comparison to the inner ring. So KO will contribute to the post part meta. However, having a KO on your team will counter that and you'll see why later in this video. Next we have KO's Flash, Flash Drive, and this has a similar mechanic to CSGO flashes and has both a left and right click for different trajectories. Also, you don't need to worry about too many flashes since Sky and Breach only have two flashes each now. Here are some examples you can do with KO's Flash to pop flash around corners. Here's one with left click. And here's one with right click. You can see if the flash is behind you, it doesn't actually flash you for long and it gives you an advantage when peeking. And quickly, here's a satisfying pop flash I did in a real game. <laughs> this is where KO gets interesting with his ability zero point. KO will throw out a dagger suppressing enemies in its radius, disabling all their abilities for 8 seconds. There's quite a lot of things we tested with this ability, but first I'll show you that it's this entire radius which gets hit by zero point and it means that it covers high ground even if you don't throw it up. You can see that gives you an indicator which shows if your dagger suppressed anyone and this gives you a huge amount of info for free, almost like a silver dart. Here's an example where I throw the dagger towards B on ascent to not only disable four enemies, but also give myself and my team the info that it wasn't a fake. It's also good for getting early map control and catching lurkers off guard. Okay, there's two Oh shit, you're dead. Oh, no, no. It also shows this little box on the left under the minimap for your teammates as well. So if you have any Russians who don't have voice comms, they can actually give you info. It's important to note that you don't actually need to be in line of sight of the dagger to be hit by it, making it extremely strong. This is what it looks like to be suppressed, and I'm not gonna lie, the 8 seconds is actually ridiculously strong, and it counters post-plant lineups, which you'll see later on in this video. It doesn't actually have a range or limit like Phoenix's Molly or Yoru's Flash, which allows you to make cross-map lineups, allowing KO to support his team from anywhere. Look at this lineup from A to B, which will prevent enemies from using their abilities as they enter site. You can see this will cover both hooker and long, and you literally throw it from across the other side of the map. This can also counter the annoying jet orpers as it will disable their dash for 8 seconds, leaving them just having to run around like an idiot. However, you must bear in mind that you can actually destroy the dagger, however you have to be really fast. However, you can't actually shoot the top of the dagger, it has to be the blade itself. Finally, we have KO's ultimate ability, Null Command, which requires 7 ult points. This is similar to your dagger disabling your opponent's abilities, however they must be in the radius surrounding you. We tested the range on this and it looks like it went up to 50 meters, a slightly bigger radius than the footstep sound on the minimap. The duration on this is different to the dagger, so it pulses 5 times in total with each pulse disabling your abilities for 4 seconds, totaling up to 20 seconds of no abilities for your opponents. Despite being able to disable your enemy's abilities, if you get killed whilst using KO's ultimate, you don't actually die and instead you get downed, allowing all teammates to come and revive you. Here's what it looks like to revive a downed KO. Requesting manual reset. Core 
you can actually kill Ko whilst he's downed. However, he'll get 850 HP, which you need to burn through. Oh, and Ko's ult also increases your fire rate, but we all know that also means your likelihood to whiff. Now that I've shown you Ko's abilities, it's now time to show you why he is so strong and to test out some things. Yeah, beam in and marker. Hey, well I have no idea, no idea how that killed him. <laughs> so this is when it starts to get fun testing KO. Since he can disable abilities, he can actually become a hard counter to the Razor, which is now 8 points by the way. It can also count as Sova ult alongside other agents which may potentially be going for lineups, which is one of the main reasons I think Ko will get picked every game, since everyone hates lineup meta. It even stops jet knives and I'm already dreading the day I updraft or super dash in the sky and my knives just disappear. However, you can still glide so it doesn't completely disable her. We then tested it on Killjoy's utility and her ultimate. From this, we can see that all the util was disabled, however, it won't disable Killjoy's ult itself. I'm not gonna lie, if KO did disable Killjoy's ultimate with his ult, I would want Riot to disable KO as that would just be ridiculously broken. Anyway, it's very important to note that you must hit Killjoy with the dagger and not the turret to disable a util. I did find it quite weird, but at the same time it does make sense, and it gives you that info that Killjoy is in the radius. So you can see when KO targeted just the turret itself, it didn't actually disable it. We then wanted to test if KO could disable ultimates like Vipers, however we found that KO's ultimate would not disable or remove Vipers ultimate, but it would stop her from using her poison orb, wall and snake bite. Ko is also unable to disable Yoru's abilities whilst Yoru is in his ultimate, which means it won't hard counter Yoru's only useful trait, which is becoming a human Sova drone. We did also test Phoenix's ult to see if it would stop him from going back to his ult spot, but once again it didn't, and if it did, it would be extremely broken. So from this we can see that Ko's ultimate simply disables abilities, but also only the ultimates which need to be shot, like the Sova ult, Jet ult and Ray's ult. Anyway, now I'm going to show you a quick lineup for both A and B site on Bind. I'm almost certain that KO's Molly follows a similar trajectory to the Viper Poison Orb. Okay, so to do this lineup on A, all you have to do is go to the default corner where Vipers normally line up and look towards the upside down V and simply aim towards the middle of it and easy. For the next one on B, you simply come towards the left side of the teleporter and line up the arrow indicator from the molly with this line in the wall. And there's another easy lineup for a default plan. However, not only can you do post plant lineups, you're also able to make counters to enemies trying to set up for post plants themselves. And this is one of the reasons why I think KO will have a 100% pick rate, especially in pro play. Here's how to counter the A lineup spot, which a lot of players tend to use. So you want to come to the back corner of the site and simply line up the middle line with the red light. And bye bye Viper lineup whilst I defuse the bomb. But since the radius is so big, you don't actually need lineups, so you can just throw them on the fly. So don't be afraid to send out daggers to support your teammates as you rotate. You can see from this dagger I literally threw from spawn, it covers both the entrance of hookah and also long. So what did you guys think of KO? Let me know down in the comments below. I personally think KO is ridiculously strong based on his toolkit, and I've been playing him like a duelist myself, but the ability to support your team is extremely valuable, and it can't be slept on. Anyway, once again, I'll be streaming this live at 6pm BST. I hope I answered everything in this video, but if not, that's another reason to head over to my stream. And also, this video took a long time to make in such a short period of time, so if you did enjoy this video, or it helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as it helps me out a lot.